Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My Magic Ears background. All my lovely stuff. So what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about OPV. Overall Performance, I think, Value. So this is on a scale of up to 10. So 10.0 is perfect. And if you're at a Magic Master rank, you have to be between this and this, senior, between this and this, junior, and then sophomore, you know, they don't have one. And as you know, I'm a junior. So this past Sunday, I received my first rating because I had taught, while well, I had taught over 140 classes, a good chunk of that was standbys and you need a hundred regular book classes taught in order to generate your rating. So I received my rating and I was like, hmm, let me see. I had, I wasn't happy with it. Let's, it, it was 8.89 and you might say, well, Becky, that's not bad. But to be ranked down to a sophomore's 8 point, I think 8.3, so we're not talking about a lot of wiggle room, folks. Miss Becky has done something wrong. And I was like, all right. Now I knew out of the 140 some odd classes, two were bad ratings. And I was looking up, what does your rating consist of? How do they chunk it out? So 20% of it is parent feedback. So the ratings I got, the things they tell, you know, all them other people. 40% is did I convert trial students to subscription? Now, out of 140 plus classes, I can count on one hand the number of trials. So, yeah, that's a point. They don't tell you if they do or do not, but obviously they can see in their computer, you know. And then the other 40% is makeup, refund classes, things like that. So I asked Coach Lily, who is, I guess, my new coach, I was like, what's going on? I said, uh, this is my, my rating. I'm not happy. So let's see what she said. She said, Hi, Rebecca. I reviewed your recent class and think you did well in teaching with passion and class progress. You smiled consistently and did well in turning off the students' cameras when there were two students in the camera. Thanks for all your efforts and patience. Here's some feedback I'd like to share with you. And there were three things. Two of them I consistently have not done exactly correctly. So these are things I can correct. Number one, at the sentence to know, which is where we, like I did snowy day. So it's snow, it's beautiful. Some of those sentences are in red and some are in black. So at the sentences to know part, the red sentences can be regarded as key sentences. Please let every student read every red sentence one by one and have error corrections with them. Moreover, you can let students read black sentences in turn. So she sent me a little screenshot and it was the snowy day. Okay, number two. It will be better if you can use an uplifting voice when praising students. There's a little clip. And my clip is, good job, excellent work. Instead of, good job, excellent work. So I knew my mistake there. And number three, on the review page, which is the let's review last page of the lesson, it will be better if you can try to instruct the students to read the key words and key sentences rather than directly lead them to read. This can help students try to produce the target language independently. 
For example, you can drag your window on the first keyword and ask, what is this? And wait for the student's response for about two seconds. If they still cannot read it, you can lead them to read. Thank you. So, I did two things consistently wrong um, because on the sentences, sometimes I do have them do all of them one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes it's as a group, sometimes it's as two. So I know, getting feedback, that we want to go ahead and on the red sentences, one-on-one. -on -one. So I know to correct that. And then on let's review, move my picture over each phrase and word and a sentence. What is this? So I do not have classes this week. I'm working on my bachelor's um, to catch me up to my test dates. So in next week and the week after will be the new rating because the ratings come out every Sunday. So I will let you all know if my rating goes up. I'm going to keep working on it, folks. Goodbye.